Hey everybody, my expect the comics and I'm back. This time I just wanted to show a couple of books I ended up picking up at a shop down in Alamosa. If you wanted to see the two books I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. So welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. This is going to be a rather short video. Um, the past weekend, I ended up going down to Alamosa area down in the southern part of Colorado. If you're familiar with the area, they do have the great sand dunes. And that was, you know, primarily the reason for the visit. Went there for the weekend. Ended up having a blast. Went down to the uh, great sand dunes national park and um, did some sandboarding and uh, sledding, sand sledding. So if you're not familiar with that, you're actually going down in a desert going down some sand slopes and some of the parts because of where the location is geographically there's uh, mountains right behind it and uh, ended up uh, you know having some snow on it and you could do some you know sandboarding and sand sledding so um, while I was in town I found out that they had a comic shop there so this shop was called um, I forget what it was called but it was it was tattoos and comics and uh, I was like oh this is pretty cool you know and it was an actual tattoo shop, and all alongside the actual shop, there was uh, comic bins, there were some slabs on the wall, there were some Funko Pops, and some a uh, little bit of artwork. And um, a lot of the artists also had some comic books um, displayed in their actual booths, which was pretty cool, you know. So it tied in a little bit to my, uh, you know, cultures, the tattoo scene and uh, comic books. So um, <clears throat> had a little bit of time do a little bit of hunting and um, they had some dollar books they had some uh, new comic books there as well so ended up picking up uh, just two books so um, the first book I ended up picking up was uh, something recent uh, that I just didn't get a chance to pick up and this is Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Halcyon Legacy issue number one this is the uh, one of the variant covers and uh, it's a pretty pretty neat cover and I ended up picking this up for six fifty. The cover price is four ninety nine, so I didn't mind paying a little bit over. Um, but pretty cool book. Um, there is a few first appearances in here. I can't jog my memory what they are. I'll just put them in the uh, on the video. But um, this was a nice cover, so I figured, yeah, pick it up and uh, give it a, a read. I think issue two just came out. I think last week or the week prior. And I was digging a little bit through the dollar bins and ended up seeing this book. And whenever I see any of the Rise of the Midnight Sun series, the um, six part series that, you know, the poly bag and the uh, poster, I pick them up. So this is Night Stalkers issue number one. It is the new stand, which is much harder to get in this year. I think they came out in 91 or 90, I forget now. This is part five of six. And uh, picked this up for a dollar. This one did not have the um, the poster with the uh, poly bag. Just came in as this already. And for a dollar, I was like, oh, I'm going to pick this up. Um, this is actually in pretty nice shape. But um, I always pick this up as a fun spec book. You know, any of these uh, one through six are uh, what I call, you know, under the radar. Except for uh, issue... Um, Ghost Rider issue 28 and 31, I forget what parts those are, with the uh, team appearance of the uh, Midnight Suns. But like, it's a fun read, um, fun spec. It does have, uh, you know, Blade on there as well, um, which is pretty cool. So uh, that was it, you know, ended up um, having a good time checking out that shop. Um, the people there were really friendly, ended up doing a little bit of hunting for the, you know, short time that I did. And I uh, picked up these two books. So that's it for this time. Uh, if you liked it, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Rock Spectre Comics.